Get in, Rich. Get in. Good morning folks, Monday morning and the panel is off the wall, we don't have all the components that we need yet for the new one, we're waiting on some maybe today dropping, maybe tomorrow, but we can make a start. So in here you'll see that we have the current transformers, 200 to 5, that's the ratio, we've got the back of the water meter there, the back of the PIDs, this is the back of the panel meter, the three phase panel meter, the timer, and then here we've got a 12 volt PSU, a 30 odd volt PSU, which is going to be obsolete now, then up at the top we've got the solid state relays, these are the good ones, this is the Chinese one that I had to replace, one of the Croydon ones that, that failed. And then we have some relay bases here. These are for signal switching to prevent any of these solid state relays turning on without water in the tanks and the like. This little relay here, which is getting quite old now actually, that was on the original control panel at Idle Valley way back in 2014 something like that so that's going to be now made obsolete that switches the mains for the board independently so it was wired in with this plug so I could have tapped off one of the line in for the um, three phase elements but I wanted to make all of those separate so we plugged in separately as well uh, and I'm going to continue to do that because that means we can take the panel down independently and uh, we know that if we've isolated um, all of the three phase stuff and we plug this plug uh, unplug this plug then the system is dead and we're going to be replacing things like that with we've got a 20 amp contactor here with an RCD so that's going to protect the control electrics and we've got three RCDs here which are going to be protecting the elements and they have at the other end of these cables in the control panel they have uh, 25 amp MCBs on each one so if we do upscale to a bigger brewery and a bigger elements this will take it but I'd have to uprate the MCBs in the control in the consumer unit and the possibly the cable as well but at the minute pulling 19 amps through there is fine then we've got the PSUs and we're gonna have this is going to take place of this old um, chocolate block buzz bar we're gonna go with the proper terminals and do it that way so I've just got to populate this bad boy which is going to take some time but I've got the week so hopefully um, in a week's time we'll be able to see this build completed certain things I'm not going to replicate like these sockets not going back in don't need any sockets on the panel itself and uh, this PSU will be defunct so that can come out this little panel meter here was an amp meter again that's something that we're not going to be replacing Oh, and you can also see there the back of the timer, which we're going to put in as well. We've had a delivery, so I've been removing all the bits and pieces from the other panels. These are the Croydon solid state relays that I bought from RS Components many a year ago. And this one has just arrived from DigiKey, 
where one of our friends uh, at Four Priest Brewery works and um, indeed they've come up with the goods so this here is the replacement for this Chinese one which I don't trust so that will be installed and uh, we've also got some of this trunk in which um, didn't come from DigiKey this came from C PC because they didn't have any at the other place but what did come from DigiKey I think it's called DigiKey I can't remember is this bad boy now upgrades of course because of the issues we had last week with uh, the solid state relay oh gosh I know I shouldn't have tried to do this with one hand anyway we're in check this bad boy out holy smokes <laughs> it weighs an absolute ton now look at that for a freaking heat sink oh my god it's 900 it's three feet long so I'm gonna cut it to size so it fits all the way across the top of the new control panel but yeah what a heat sink is an old one big big difference so hopefully we have enough cooling capacity to keep those solid state relays happy so I'm gonna to have to chop this up with what I'm not sure and get it installed I've been waiting for this and I'm really rather happy with it so I've managed to cut the heat sink what a heat sink that bad boy is as well we've dismounted most of the components from the other panel and what I've done is with a lot of care and attention this time round that's not a damage damage on the paintwork that's actually where I've rubbed some pencil lines out but uh, yeah by the by there's the panel meter fits nicely next we'll try the water meter for size in she goes perfect and then finally we've got the timer and this is quite a little bit of a complicated mounting system but that's all we need to see for now and as you can see it sits in nicely what I don't like about it is some of these cables are a little bit exposed yeah they're kind of exposed but we'll sort that out we'll cross that bridge when we burn it so there we go that's some of the components fitted next we need to start cutting and drilling for the PIDs then the panel indicators and the switches but I'm having fun it's like the old days well 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 after lots of cutting and fiddling around and filing and measuring we've got everything in the panel so I'm still waiting for a couple of ink birds to come so I've just dropped in this old one that I've got here which is the wrong model and then there's a Rex C100 out of the old panel so I've chucked that in so water meter timer is in place that's a bit loose looser than it should be um, panel meter and then we've got the timer for the brew day we'll have the HLT control we're gonna have now I don't monitor mash temps and I haven't done for a long time but it doesn't mean we won't in the future so I've included a space for a mash PID if nothing else it will just display the temperature then we've got the boil control and then we've got the alarm with the reset button for the timer and we've got the on button for the HLT and then on for the HLT pump and this is actually for the HLT lights 
which I've got some lights behind the sight glass but it could be for something to do with this PID in the future if you wanted to but for now I'm just going to label it up HLT lights and then HLT pump and then finally we've got the boil kettle uh, power lights and the boil pump so there we go everything looks spot on oh and then the on and off key which we could take away so nobody can start it without us having the key for it there we go that's today I'm done I'm gonna go home it is getting on and tomorrow we're gonna have to tackle the components in the box proper so we'll be mounting all that stuff hopefully we'll get that all done tomorrow and then the day after we're gonna start wiring what I have also done today while I've had the opportunity is I've taken the old rotary isolators now we we actually salvaged these from other areas in the unit when we moved in it was a wood shop before and they had various three-phase sockets in certain places so we harvested them and uh, used them where we needed to but I've changed them all for new ones which was a good idea because I think the other ones have had the day and uh, yeah we'll get all these marked up nicely and we'll be able to just put the tails the loose tails in there and we'll run them into the panel shouldn't be an issue at all and then out of the panel into the new um, sockets and then we're also going to change the I'm not going to change the cable for them yes I am I'm going to change the cable for the elements as well so that will have some new flex this is armoured cable it doesn't need to be armoured and all this cable down here it's all going to be changed as well there's a lot of cable changing to do so I'll get the panel built and then I want to repaint this wall so we'll pull everything away you can see how wet that wall is down there and that's nothing to do with the activity of the brewery you can see it's coming through there as well I've said many times the people next door have built against that wall and there's no damp barrier at all so a bit of a dodgy job there isn't it and that's one of the reasons why this panel it's it's set off the wall so we don't get any water ingress on the panel itself so yes job done half past six I'm going home oh I also did an insulation resistance test on all the cabling thought I'd mention that as well so there we go that's me done boys and girls one last look at the panel before we go and we will see you on the next vlog which will probably be tomorrow.